coming straight from the underground A young nigga got it bad cause I'm brown And not the other color so police think They have the authority to kill a minority Fuck that shit cause I ain't the one For a punk motherfucker with a badge and a gun to be beaten on And thrown in jail we can go toe to toe Yo what's going on guys it's Corey here or cool Ace back again with another video for you guys today And today we're gonna be telling a life story so without further ado Let's get into the video. My date for prom was a girl I was talking to at the time or had a thing with. We weren't dating, but at the same time, like, we were talking and that stuff. People knew we were talking. And one of my good friends, Zach, actually, like, it seemed like he had a huge crush on her. So after the actual prom dance, we went back to the school where the after prom was at. So at this point in the story, we're about 30 minutes into the after prom. And me and my friend, Zach, decided, hey, let's go get some food. We head over to the tables with all the food and that stuff. And we sit down and we start to eat. My friend, Zach, just happens to be a huge pothead. I rarely ever smoked at this point. Like, this was probably going to be my second or third time smoking while we're eating zach actually asked me if i want to go back to his house and start smoking before we get to the after party at my boy colin's house and i was just like all right fine you know it's prom night why not just turn up a little bit more it'll be a fun time nothing's gonna go wrong any of that stuff i was sober at the time so i drove myself and zach back over to zach's house and we went right to his basement and started smoke while we were smoking i got a text from my boy colin saying the party started so you guys can come over whenever so we start to walk to colin's house and let me tell you this was possibly like the longest and most treacherous walk of my life yet it was like a two minute walk this walk felt like I was playing Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. It was that treacherous and difficult, I swear. And literally, we just had to walk through a couple bushes just to get there. Like, it wasn't even that much effort simply to get to Colin's house. So that truly shows me I must have been smacked out of my mind right away. <laughs> so then we finally get to Collins. We all go to the basement. We just start talking, having a good time, drinking and whatnot. And then this is when it got weird. Just so you guys have some background information, Zach State actually happened to be a girl he was talking to at the time as well. And of course, out of all nights that they have to get into a fight, it's prom night. So he's just spending it with me and my date. I'm so smacked out of my mind at this point that I literally don't want to hook up at all. All I want to do is eat so I can get rid of these munchies. So I'd say about an hour later, I'm just sipping on my drink, chilling there, talking to people. And all of a sudden, I noticed that Zach's trying to make some moves on my date and then about like 10 minutes later he walks over to me and he's like dude you want to let me go smack at her and i straight up just say go for it and i would say about an hour later my friend zach finally thought he had it in the bag with this hookup so then after my friend zach keeps getting rejected my date actually walks over to me sits on my lap and starts kissing my cheek and i knew she wanted to hook up at that point and i was just thinking to myself dude i can't do this like i'm so smacked out of my mind i cannot even tell the difference between like a goddamn goat and a goddamn pelt so then i tell my date you know can you get off for a sec so i can quickly go get another drink and about five minutes later i come back and i see her messing around with my boy zach so all the guys were planning on sleeping at collins and all the girls were planning on just walking up the street and going to our friend christy's house so all the girls are saying bye to all their dates and that stuff and my date walks over gives me a hug and that stuff i was just like all right i'll text you tomorrow or something and then she walks over to zach and literally goes absolutely dick on him just acts like she's about to kiss him all of a sudden zach's like oh shit and he's about to go in to kiss her and then all of a sudden she's like all right i'll see you later and shakes his fucking hand my boy zach got friend zoned so hard that i swear to god there were just stories to be told for centuries about this shit so about a week later i actually end things with the girl i took to prom and then i would say two or three weeks later my boy zach starts to date her and they still date to this day and let me tell you it is literally the most awkward couple alive i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to hit that like button it always means the world to me when you guys like it. if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button also if you guys want to see more life stories make sure to tell me in the comments down below also comment your weirdest or most awkward date story you've ever had or one of those like friend zone kind of moments that my boy zach had but without further ado i hope you guys did enjoy the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace